Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the variable scopes in Robot Framework. So as you can see on my screen, I have created the variable scope.robot5 and there are four scopes. So the first one is the global scope, test suite scope, test case and local scope. So global scope is basically when you define the global variables, uh, the they are available everywhere in the test data test suite scope is limited to uh, the test suite so any variable that is defined within the test suite scope is available anywhere in the test suite so so for example you have a test suite which has uh, 50 different test cases in it uh, and the test suite scope is defined the variables are defined at the test suite level these variables will be available on all 50 tests similarly in test case scope the variables that are defined at the test case level will be visible in the in that particular test case only and all the keywords that are used in that particular test case so test case scope is limited to only that particular test and then the last one is the local scope so for example you are defining the scope or the variable at the local level so for example in the keyword section then they will be available uh, they'll have the local variable scope and these are not seen by any other test cases or the keywords all right so let's go ahead and start with the demo for this one so what we'll do is we'll start with the settings so i'll import the settings and then we'll start with the global variable so let me import the variables and section in the variable section i'll define a scalar variable with the name variable demo and as i have mentioned previously that if it is a global variable the recommended approach is to use uppercase for the global variable so i have used the uppercase and then space equal to sign and two spaces and i'll just mention this is global variable all right let me change it to uppercase so that it's visible clearly in the logs and the next thing is now this is the global variable that we have defined in the variable section now it depending on how many test cases so for example there are multiple test cases in this particular robot file all the test cases that will be using this variable demo um, variable all the test cases will be able to access this variable so for example let's have a test case this is demo test one all right and in this particular test case what I'll do is I'll just log the variable okay so I'll just say log and provide the name of the variable here now in the second test case what we'll do is i'll just copy this first test case and in the second test case i'll just change it to test 2 and we'll log the same line here okay so now there are two test cases and both should be able to access the global variable now let's try to execute this file and see the results so now you can see two test cases two test case passed zero fail let's see the report and see what has been logged in the report in the report i'll open two test cases demo test case one you can see if you see the built-in keyword log this is a global variable has been printed on the in the screen in the reports and in the next test there is another this is global variable has been printed so this clarifies that global variable can be accessed with or uh, from all of the test cases now if i comment out this global variable right and define a variable at the test case level so let's say i define a scalar variable at the test case level with the name as variable demo same name and because this is the local variable or the test case variable i'm defining it as lowercase and then equal to sign two spaces 
I'll say set variable because I'm defining um, the variable at the test case level. So I'll use the keyword set variable and two spaces and I'll say this is test case variable. All right. And if I run this test case now again, because there is a local variable defined at the demo test one level, this test case should pass and there is no test case defined at the second test. So because the scope of the test or scope of the variable defined at the test case level is limited to the test case. So the second test case should fail and the first one will pass. So let's try run this test and you can see one test case has passed, one has failed. Let's analyze the report. So if I open the report here and go to the test case that has failed, you can see that variable demo not found because what we have done is we have commented out the global variable and in the first test case because the variable has been defined at the test case level so you can see this is test case variable has been printed right now if we want to define the variable at the keyword level okay so let's import the keyword section all right and say i define this is demo keyword all right i'll just i'm just providing some dummy name there and below this keyword i'll simply put the log statement all right and in the log statement what i'll do is i'll just print the same variable demo right now because the variable demo or the de variable demo the global variable that we have defined hasn't been it's been commented out so this is not acceptable accessible to the keyword and now let's use this particular keyword in another test and see the scope so i'll just change it to the test three and in this particular test case I'll use or call this particular keyword right so this is demo keyword now let's run this file and see what happens so in this case one test case will pass and two will fail now here you can see that because there is a local variable at the demo test one level this test case will pass and two others will fail because there is no variable defined at these level so let me open the report and in the test we can see variable demo not found if i uncomment this global variable here and then run the test case again all the test case will pass right and if you analyze the report again in the report you can see all of the tests are passing and we'll see the keyword so this is the test case variable and the other will be using the global keyword all right so our global uh, variable so here you can see this is global variable for test case 2 and similarly for test case 3 it is accessing the global variable now the other important thing is say for example i have defined the variable at the keyword level right and with the help of argument so i'll explain uh, details about the arguments later so to define the arguments what we can simply do is just start typing arguments and in the argument we can simply say um, variable demo i'll just use the same name right and we'll provide some default value okay so i'll say this is the keyword variable all right and now because there is a default value already assigned in this case this keyword variable will be having precedence over the global variable so in this case let's see what will be the output so if i run the test case in the report so if you go to the test case 3 and expand 
the keyword you can see this is keyword variable right so because there is a variable or the default value being assigned to the the variable that is defined at the keyword level that is why this value is being printed in the demo uh, in this particular test case tree so now here you can see that if a variable is defined at the global level all the test cases will be able to access it if it is defined at the test case level other test case won't be able to access it now if there is a variable that is defined at the keyword level and the test case levels for example here let me uncomment this global variable and in this case there is a keyword at the uh, there is a variable at the keyword level and the variable at the test case level so test case 1 and test case 3 will pass because there is a default keyword defined but test case 2 will fail because this variable demo which is at the global level it won't be uh, available for the test case 2 so if we run this particular test case in this scenario two test cases will pass if we see the report in the report we see the failing test case you will find that variable demo is not found and the test case 3 has been passed here you can see this is the keyword variable because their keyword variable has been defined and the test case variable has been defined at the test case level so now the important thing to remember here is that if you have defined the variable at the keyword level it will be available for all the test cases wherever that particular keyword is used if a variable is defined at the test case level it will only be available for that particular test case and nowhere else if it is defined at the global level then it will be available at all in all of the test case the other important thing is that you can move these variables out into another file and can import as the resource file so for example you have the variables defined for the browser for the test url that can be moved to the resource file and we can import that resource file and use those global variable into the uh, the test case file that we have defined that we have created so that's pretty much all about the variable scope in robot framework hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching